Hey guys, it's the Solo Cloth here, and today in so this monster analysis video, we're going to be going over the brand new PvP monster named Jocko, and I'm going to be telling you guys whether or not you should get him, or whether or not you should use him on your team. So let's go ahead and get right into it. Alright, so Jocko is an attacker, and he is in the PvP event, so he is very easy to get, so keep that in mind when we're going over him. And then his traits are Possession Immunity, and Nightmare Immunity, and AoE and Nightmares. Honestly, kind of a bad trait. And then his relics are Sword and Sword, which are actually pretty good for attackers. But since he does have two swords, he won't be able to regen stamina with them, which is kind of a problem. So yeah, now let's go on down to the pros and cons. So his pros are Great Power, Access to Two Tortures, and Bleed and Shock, as well as Random Tortures, which is pretty good. Random Tortures are RNG, meaning you can roll something great. But that also means you can roll something bad. And then his double sword relics are great for extra damage, which is very true. And then his cons are nightmares are only limited to his status caster. He has really bad cooldowns on extra turn moves, meaning he can't infinitely chain. Anticipation is a big problem for him since he has a lot of extra turn moves. He has a bland move pool. He has really bad damage output. He's easily denied. He has bad relics for stamina regen, which I did already go over. And then he has a low life and dark and a light meta. And then the random torches are RNG. So yeah, a lot of cons compared to pros and some of them are really big. So just keep that in mind when trying to use this monster. Now let's go on down to the moveset. So he has a random torture with an extra turn a bleed with an extra turn a shock with an extra turn and then a random torture aoe so yeah his moves are pretty good they all have three cooldowns though so you can't really infinitely chain at all but yeah they're decent i guess you can go ahead and do them all at once and yeah, you can do some pretty decent damage, get the bleed and the shock on and the random torture, which yeah, that is very, very good. But of course, if they have anticipation, you just lose. So that is kind of a problem, but he is still a pretty decent monster, I guess. And especially for being free to play instead of multiplayer, because you can get him very, very easily out of multiplayer. So yeah, very free to play friendly, but he isn't too great. I guess he could be fun to use, but yeah, just not too great. So yeah, that is Jocko. Let me know down in the comments what you guys think of Jocko, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Goodbye.